Baby, let me tell you. I don't know who told you. You wasn't the shit, but they lied to you. Hmm. Let me tell you. They have tried to sit you down. They tried to make you lay low. I don't know who the hell they thought they were, but it's literally them thinking that they're more than you simply because people, other people around them have put them on a pedestal. But see, they, we didn't say God put them on a pedestal. It's the people around them. These are the people around them that didn't like you. <laughs> they didn't like you. So therefore, they used one person to try and make you feel really low. They wanted you to feel that way. They, they put that person on a pedestal to make you feel like you were the lowest. But they knew exactly who the hell you were. They know that you're a king. They know that you're a queen. They know that there is something about you. But as long as they can try to keep you low and you never find out who the hell you are, hmm, they think they don't won. But they got, them, they got the wrong thing on their mind, baby. And they got another thing coming. It ain't never been true. And it'll never be true just because they make it look true. Because on the outside looking in, it looks like that person is the person who everybody wants. But at the end of the day, we already know that the first shall be last and the last shall be first. Who the hell do these people think they are that they really feel like that they can really <laughs> stunt your growth by making you feel bad? Mm -mm. It's divine timing. There are things that happen only because your God, our God, says is going to happen. It's already in the making. How can they even try to misconstrue who the hell you are? <laughs> They'll never be you. They'll never be better than you. I don't care what it said because it was never meant to be that you or they were better than any one of them. You just was your own person and they're their own person. But when they stepped into that plane of thinking that they were more than you, <laughs> it was all because of man. Man only made them think that, but it didn't matter because when the most high God speaks, <sighs> he speaks volumes. But not only that, he, he doesn't only speak. He moves mountains. So when it comes to that, he moves things out of the way. He moves those fools, the foolish things, those that think that they are more. Mm -hmm. See, that's how the Pharisees were. And, and when you think about the Pharisees, all they thought was, as long as I follow this part of the Bible, as long as I follow this, and as long as I listen to my master, I will do right. I will make it. I'm better than you. <laughs> that's what they thought. They are foolish beings. These are foolish people. They were never learned. The only thing that they go by is materialistic things and the way that people perceive them around them. It's all about that. As long as they look good around them, they're good. As long as they look good around the people that are really like those that are corporate, you know, those people. As long as they look good around them, they're good. But see, <laughs> they didn't realize that <laughs> these things of this world will not last. It will never, they will not, they will not last. Those things shall fall away, but it's only spirit that comes through. Your spirit is way more divine. You are filled with light, that you have an aura that sets the mood when you step into a room. They didn't understand that though. Hmm. They really thought they beat you at your own game and it wasn't even a game for you. It was just you being you. <laughs> and listen to me, they really thought that their wisdom was from out of books of mere humans, people that written books that didn't even understand what divine things were. They, re they wrote these books simply because it was something that was pleasing to other people. These are people pleasing people that actually live off of other people's energy. <laughs> they live in off other people's energy when you're supposed to be connected for yourself. They never knew who their creator was. They don't know who he is. They say they love God, but that's a lie. They never knew. They never knew who they are and whose they are. They just understood that they got to follow what other people say. It was all about <laughs> people pleasing to those who are around them. Yeah, that would be their mother, their father, their sister, their brother, whoever's around them, who's filling their heads up with lies. Don't let them fool you. Because I promise you, at some point, they shall fall. They will never be the way that they thought they were going to be. It's going to be a failure at all costs. I don't care how far they gotten. 
with their lies and manipulation and the way that they torture you to make you look so bad. They work so hard to make you look so bad. So just understand that it's going to take them a long time to get out of where they were because they have taken their whole time to do what they've done to you. Hmm. It was all about you the whole time. You got to understand that you were their very essence. You were the very one that they wished that they were. You were the reason they were inspired. You were the reason why they went hard on the paint. <laughs> you were the reason they continued to keep going. But they didn't see that. The reason they kept going for them in their mind is that they wanted to outdo you, to outshine you, to be better than you. But why are you the focus? Because you are the focus. Baby, can you focus on me? <laughs> you were the focus and you are the focus and you will forever be the focus. <laughs> You will always be the reason they are inspired in life. You understand that, right? The reason they keep going is because they want to be better than you. But you know that God says not to covet anything. You're not supposed to covet anything that anyone has. Um, not Let alone trying to be better than them. Be better than yourself, sweetheart. Don't be better than me. Be better than yourself. Do what you do and don't do what I do. Don't, do, don't try to do better than me just because I'm better. <laughs> It's just understanding that when you're called and chosen, it's a different set of rules. It's different. We don't walk by that type of energy, okay? We don't we don't thrive off of your energy. We thrive off of our energy and the energy of the divine because we're connected. And when I say we're connected, we're connected, we're protected and everything else. And our ancestors, they rise up for us. Our ancestors continue to move up on our behalf. You really thought that your ancestors were my ancestors? That, yeah, just because they were, that they were riding with you because you were the one who were trying to outdo me? <laughs> you got another thing coming, baby. They rocking with me the whole time. They rocking with the chosen one the whole time. You really thought you took everything from the chosen one, but you got another thing coming, honey. You will see at the end of the day that the last shall be first and the first shall be last. You got to understand that. <laughs> I don't know who they think they are, but I know who you are. You are the chosen one. You are divine royalty. You are that one. You are the peace that they need. You are their inspiration. <laughs> you are the one that everybody wants to be like or wants to be better than. You got to understand that when you are the one that's the focus, you are the focus. You are that one. You are the peace that everybody needs. You are that. You got to understand that. And the way that they continue to look and thrive after what you are doing, honey, you have to know that you are the shit. You are that one. <laughs> you are that one. The two, not the three, not the two. You are the one. You are that one. <laughs> you are always going to outshine them, regardless of if you even try. When you give up, they still see you as a threat. <laughs> they still know that it is something about you that you continue to thrive, even when you don't thrive. Because that is you. That's why they chose you. That's why... The divine chose you. <laughs> Do you know that? Do you know that the reason why the divine chose you? Because you are yourself. You're not selfish. You're not selfish at all. You're not trying to be like anyone else. You're being yourself. You stepped in your calling and you stepped in the place that we're supposed to be perfect in your purpose. You're, you're stepped, you've stepped into it. And that's why he chose you. Because you didn't have to try to be like other people. See, that's the thing about you. You knew that even if you had to go outside of the grain, you had to go outside of the box to not be like the people around you, that you still will thrive. That you still will be the one, the one, the one, the one. Not the two, nor the three. There is so much and so many that love you. But some, are, some of them are not even trying to let you know that they want you to think that they're not watching you they're not paying you any attention because <laughs> they're selfish they're too prideful to let you know that they actually look up to you pride comes before a fall right hmm destruction they can't even face you, baby. They can't even let you know that you are the one. They can't even let you know that you are the one who's going to be the one that everybody looks to to understand that, listen, this life ain't what it is. This life ain't what it seems just because you see what the people on the outside are doing, what the Joneses are doing, keeping up with the Joneses. It ain't what it do, baby. That's not what it is no more. Things have changed. You know how they used to say the light-skinned men was in, then the dark-skinned men came back? 
came in and everybody wanted them at chocolate and then they went to the light skinny listen things are changing but there's nothing new under the sun things are always going to change that lets you know that the first shall be last and the last shall be first not all the time that the last will be last it's not going to always be that way not all the time things will change it will shift it will shift and you are the shift of this life. You are the shift that people wish that they were. <laughs> they really wished that they could be just as peaceful as you. That you could be content at being rejected when they rejected you. See, if it was them, the shoe was on the other foot. If the shoe was on the other foot, they couldn't take it. They couldn't fit it. They couldn't get their foot inside of it because it wouldn't even fit them. They couldn't take it if the shoe was on the other foot. They got you so misconstrued. They got you so bent backwards, but understand that you will never fold. They wish they could stop what you're doing. They wanted you to just give up on life. They wanted you to give up on everything, but you already know that you are stronger and more powerful than that. We don't know what God they serve, baby. We serve the right one. The one, the one, the one. <laughs> You got to understand that we know who we serve. And we know that we are gods and goddesses. We are divine. We are the chosen ones. But they'll never know. Oh, they'll know. Oh, they'll never know. Oh, they'll know. <laughs> they'll never know. <laughs> Trust me. They'll never know. They are too rooted in what they're in. They're too, they're too rooted in this world. They'll never wake up. They'll never understand that. You got to stay woke. Stay woke. Because you know they creeping. <laughs> I sure do hate it for those that counted you out. <laughs> I hate it for those who disappointed you. <laughs> I hate it for the ones who tried to diminish you and minimize you to something of nothing. Of null and void and just erase you. They tried it. I hate it for them. Because they will have to face you because... Thou preparest the table before me in the presence, in the presence. Can you say that with me? In the presence of my enemies. <laughs> I hate it for them. But then again, I don't. <laughs> I don't hate it for them. I love it for them because they deserve to watch you eat. They deserve to watch me eat. They deserve it for all they put you through. Yeah. <laughs> they had everybody to turn against you. They laughed and mocked at you. They didn't know what was going on with you, but God knew what was going on with you. The divine himself knew exactly what was going on. You didn't, you, even you didn't even understand what was going on. I hate it for them. <laughs> I hate it for them. But then again, I don't hate it for them. <laughs> I'm actually happy for them because now they can actually be inspired by something real, like something better, something greater. They can be inspired by that table that is prepared for us in their presence because they're our enemies and they are our footstool. They only helped us to climb and thrive and keep going. The footstool. I don't hate it for them. I love that for you, child. I love that for them. <laughs> I literally love that for them because now they know what a real one will look like. Now they'll know what it really means to be connected to the right god okay and not the ones that they made up in their mind they don't serve god for real they lied to you it was all a facade it was all to make people think that they really serve a great god but they didn't i don't know what type of god they were serving but it wasn't the one that the chosen ones are serving not the one but you honey <laughs> you serve the one the one the one the one not the two nor the three it's all about you and see, when it comes to Most High God, He makes it all about you. You're serving Him, but He wants to give you, He wants to show you off. He wants to make your name great. While you're making His name great and you're doing what you're, baby, He's making you great. That's why He hands you that table filled with plenty. You thought you were poor. You thought you were going through poverty. You thought that things were just stopping for you. You thought that everything that was happening to you was for a bad reason. But no, honey. It was because the first shall be last and the last shall be first. Because you are the one, the one, the one, the one, the one. So accept the one. Accept being the one because that's who you are. 
and that's who they're inspired to be like <laughs> how funny is that i told y'all i don't feel bad for them i actually don't feel bad for them not at all it was a blessing that they rejected you it was a blessing <laughs> that they counted you out it was a blessing for you and for me for us chosen ones it was a blessing so i don't feel don't feel bad for them feel good for them because they're gonna see and watch you eat down do you hear me you watch you eat down baby period <laughs>